This is not a drill. This presentation of Infantry Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bear Creek Arsenal. Nutrient survival. Survival food reinvented for a stronger body and mind. Jace Medical. Be prepared with Jace Case. Mayhem Studios. Add a little mayhem to your media with the best in the biz. Oneleaf.ai. Affordable night vision. And by generous donations from viewers like you. And I am legally blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places. And I have done some incredible things. All with one mission in mind. To inspire you to get outdoors. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome back. Whoa. That's a whole lot louder than it's supposed to be. What up, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to the program. I'm back at it again. Miss Rebecca, good evening to you. Just got notified. I just went live, man. This computer has been not wanting to cooperate again. <laughs> I had to, uh, what do you call it? I had to not reinstall, but I had to do something to Windows where I had to reinstall everything, basically. Again, not everything, but like all my software. Why in the world? There, that's supposed to be down low. So I can have this up here. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Like, I shouldn't be ducking it that much. <laughs> but it's good to see you, Rebecca. I just did uh, a video for you the other day. Um, with my latest soda can melt. So, I went ahead and made sure I did my best to describe and explain everything you can, that you would want possibly want to know about melting some soda cans. True for Tom. What's up, Papa Tom? It's good to see you. Hold on. I got to scroll up here in the chat and make sure I got everybody. Oh, hold on. Hit this button quick, 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 split. All right. So. Wait, why did you like start at the... There you go. That's better. All right. Um, let me start at the top. Rebecca just got notified. Infantry, true for Tom. 
Hey friends from the wild, wonderful, beautiful West Virginia. It's always good to see Papa Tom. Uh, da -da -da -da. Bonnie Bernardi, what's up mom? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, my beard got gray waiting for you to get here. Yeah, my beard, look, I, I'm turning gray too from just trying to get here, Tom. Believe me, I'm with you, bro. Be, it's <laughs> Well, let me tell you all about last week. All right, if you didn't get notified, um, hold on, I'm just making sure I got all the comments. No, I didn't post it yet. I filmed it. I filmed it for you the other day. It'll be coming out here soon. But um, so let me tell you what happened last week. If you guys didn't see the face or the post, um, we had regional competitions for my son's basketball team on the special olympics and we had to go to daytona beach so with the traveling uh and everything else and it was mika's first trip road trip like actual you know stay overnight road trip um i didn't live stream i could probably could have because we ended up going there we got our hotel and then we went straight to the beach. I mean, I got us a hotel where, like, the other side of the... You cross the bridge, and there's the beach. It couldn't have been better. Um, so I took the kids out there. They they went out, and it was cool. It was not warm by any means. <laughs> it was not warm by any means. And I let them go swimming, and it froze their asses off. But we had a good time. Um, that's your mom. So cool. Bonnie, glad... That's my, what do you, what are you, you're my mother-in-law, right? You saw that post? Yeah, uh, Bonnie's my mother-in-law, that's my wife's mom. My mother is in heaven, my mother and father are both in heaven. Um, so yeah, so we ended up in Daytona Beach for the weekend. And um, the kids did great, my kids team won first place, won both games, the first game they won now the way they play it is you get 20 minutes or score 20 points whichever comes first all right and obviously at the end of 20 minutes whoever has the most points that's the victor of that that game um so the first game my son's team did 20 their team to two then the second game they played why is this cutting the way this is cut? oh man everybody Again, I have to reset all of this shite because. Um, I just want to move the silence. And I want you to. Auto remove, auto play. I already played. And I want you to. Four seconds. All right, let's try that. I had to reset the DJ over there. Um, but yeah, the second game they won 20 to 4. 20 them to 4 the other team. They they did really good, man. So they got to take home the gold medal. Um, making sure I didn't miss anything on the chat. But yeah, they took first place, and now we're on to state, which is going to be in like three weeks from now in Orlando. And they're going to be playing at the ESPN Wide World of Sports uh, building. So I will be missing y'all another Friday coming here in the future. But I got to do what I got to do. On positive side, have y'all checked out the latest videos? Has everybody shared them out? Has everybody, you know, done their part? Go check them out. Remember to like and subscribe this video. If you're enjoying it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you're not subscribed, ring that bell to all notifications. So you're notified when I upload, which is Wednesdays. And, or well, not. Yeah, Wednesday is my day. I'm not going to say every day. I'm trying for every day, every Wednesday, but it's tough. But, um, oh, yeah, man. I'm happy for them, too. They're going to have a blast. All the crap they're going to get to do in Orlando. And we see the crazy thing is we as the parents have no idea what the hell we're doing. We know where the kids are staying. We know what's going on with the kids. But we don't know, like, what's going on for the parents. Like, do we just have, you know, 
fend for ourselves. It's kind of the way it feels, but um, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I got a new decoration for the place, guys. Check this out. If you're a product of the 80s like me, I am a big fan of Knight Rider. And we found this at the auto parts store. So my wife was like, yeah, you got to get that. That's your one of your childhood things. And it's Hot Wheels. Oh, there we go. Hot Wheels. Knight Rider. So for me, I'm a big fan of like the A-Team, Ghostbusters, uh, Knight Rider, Dukes of Hazzard, uh, Smokey and the Bandit. But we got a nice new decoration for the spot. And if you got anybody wants to send anything to decorate the new office space, um, the P.O. box is always listed in the video description down below. You're welcome to send it there. And I even have things if you go to infantryoutdoors.com and check out our wish list. I have items on there, like paintings that will go nice up here. I just some ideas, you know what I mean? So do 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 kit yes sir the night industries talking 2000 <laughs> uh, i sent someone to your gaming channel uh one of my one of my clients is losing eyesight and was pretty bummed sent him to your channel for inspiration why thank you that means a lot right there thank you rebecca i appreciate that i really do I've actually worked with, you know, I'm here in Florida. Um, I've worked for many years. I was a client for many years of the Florida Department of Education's Division of Blind Services. Uh, ever since I was little, um, he said he liked it. Oh, well, thank you. Awesome, 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 awesome. Glad to hear it, man. That's what I'm all, all about is the inspiration stuff. Um, but, yeah, I was a client since I was born. Since I, As long as I can remember, I've been a client of Division of Blind Services, right? Uh, it's a work rehabilitation through the state. Send you, they sent me to school. Um, I have my degree in radio TV broadcasting through them and through a scholarship that I received to go to school. Um, but they've always been a part of my life. Well, when I became an adult and I got my degree in radio and TV broadcasting, they turned around and says, well, hey, do you maybe want to teach or to help teach and become a vendor? And I was like, well, what do you mean become a vendor? Like, well, there's, well, we mean like we'll pay you to get with a client that might want a DJ or be a radio producer or be a, you know, a music producer or, you know, all of these talents that you have. If they want to try to do it, can we try to find a way for them to do it? And it was my job to figure out, well, could you realistically do what you're trying to do with the technology available at the time? So I've been, you know, doing what i do for people for a long time i've i've been helping disabled or handicapped people my entire life um i was what they called a model student when i was in going to school because i was the one of the first uh, legally blind kids going to regular school going to regular classes doing regular things um being stupid enough to try for the wrestling team the basketball team uh, when I was in middle school, I was a cheer master. I was one of the guys that threw the girls up in the air. I loved every minute of it. But, you know, that's what this has always been about, was trying to inspire someone to not feel sorry for themselves and to get out and try things, especially get outdoors, because there's a direct link to the outdoors and good health. You know what I'm saying? So, but how are you guys doing, man? That's where I've been for the last week. And like I said, I filmed a video for Rebecca this weekend. I had to melt down a bunch more soda cans. Um, seems like that's a never-ending supply. And I also have to go over to my buddy's house and go through the, go the car parts and get some more car parts to do. Um, but, yeah, that's where I've, I've been for the last week or so. Oh, and then, of course, like I said, the computer decided I had to... I don't know what it was called. It wasn't a reinstall Windows, but I had to re... I couldn't open... When you open turn on a computer, it didn't boot to Windows. So I had to tell it to go back to whatever, 
you had to reinstate Windows in order to get it to run again. So I had to put in OBS again, all my transitions, music, all of, well, not all the music. Luckily, a lot all my files is excuse me. Everything I keep is on separate hard drives. The only thing that's on here is the OS, the operating systems like OBS, which this time I put OBS on a different drive. So hopefully that won't happen. So I, didn't, I was going to have a video for you this week, but I didn't because I had to upload software and all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's all done. Um, I'm so excited for that one. <laughs> Yeah, I even mentioned you in the video. I was like, you know, this is for one of our viewers, Rebecca. She asked me to, you know, explain it a little bit. So I did my best. Um, I did it with the respirator on and everything um, to explain. I mean, it's not really rocket science, but I did break it down as best I could for you. You know, I appreciate those kind of things. Uh, Linda Bop was also asking about you, Infantry. Whoa, where is she? I miss her. I miss everybody. good busy working yeah i've been working too that's the other thing i did actually two radio commercials three in the last three weeks i've done three radio ads from radio miami so you know i've been busy i also have um the infantry outdoors truck that you guys haven't seen in forever it's getting its new transmission put in uh, i was over there with the mechanic yesterday trying to put in the transmission cooler so i i've been busy i have been very busy Infantry's been busy, and I've been trying to make videos for you. Oh, and Rebecca, another one you're going to love coming up. Next Wednesday is part one of Youth Turkey Weekend. Mom, you might want to mark your calendar for that one, too, in case you don't get notified. But Wednesday, Wednesday coming, is the part one, which will be Brandon's day of Youth Turkey Weekend. And then the following week, it'll be Logan's day. I was going to do them both together. And do a whole youth turkey weekend. But Brandon's day took up almost like 18 minutes. So I didn't want to make it super long and you guys not watch it. So we did Brandon's day. And then the following week we'll do Logan's day. So hope you guys will check it out. Show the little ones some support. Um, I still got to get my butt out and get a bird, y'all. But happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. Uh, where did I put this thing at? Alright, so... I got some music queued up. You know how we do in true Friday night fashion. And you know, somebody said it to me, oh, you know, Infantry, you're trying to do your YouTube like a radio show. You know, what's wrong with that? You know, I'm just trying to make everybody have fun, feel good, and be happy on a Friday night. Thank God you made it this far. You know? But, uh, yeah, let's hit this music break. Hope everybody's having an amazing Friday wherever you are around the world. Let's go get them.
is a different place for different people. For some, it's fast, big city living. While for others, this is still a natural place, best spent in the company of friends, family, and the great outdoors. It's also a place in constant change, so there's no time like today to prepare for the uncertainties of tomorrow. And nothing prepares you for what's to come, like proper nutrition. Whether you're adventuring, exploring, passing down traditions, or simply being smart and keeping your priorities and plans in order, it's all the same. Introducing Nutrient Survival. Top shelf, delicious, special ops grade nutrition. Designed to the nutritional standards of the US military, but intended for people like us. Made with real ingredients, made in America. To keep Americans healthy, strong, and alert. Perfect for today, ready for anything ahead. From hearty, delicious entrees and nutrient-dense snacks, to immunity-boosting drinks, and strength building shakes. Each with 40 essential nutrients available in handy singles, daily use packs, durable cans, and three to 90 day survival kits. Keeping your world safe and your body in peak condition. It's preparedness through nutrition. A new essential ingredient in life's toolkit. Created with purpose to sustain the spirit of a nation, to fuel independence, determination, focus, and the power to endure so you can protect what you love. Nutrient Survival. Feed your freedom. All right. Bring the chat on up with me. Check out Nutrient Survival. You guys can check them out. Uh, the links are in the description box down below. And, of course, as always, all of my social links, all of my social media, all of my merchandise, all of my store, everything can be found at infantryoutdoors.com. One-stop shop for infantry and everything infantry that's going on. Just go to infantryoutdoors.com. I mean, you know, that's what I built it for. So one place you can go to find your boy. <laughs> um, hold on. I missed something. I was going to say Tom's been a busy man this week, but... Um, uh he's gardening he got the strawberries going i have no idea where to start the rain is good though rain is gonna help seed in everything you just did so that's a good thing hope everybody's having a good one out there happy friday to you welcome to the program it's this week outdoors we do it every friday night at 9 p.m eastern and run till we say when I do not have a topic for you guys tonight. Figure I, you know, I ain't seen you in a week. It'd just be let's play catch up. You know, I'm mustard and y'all catch up. What happened to my background? What happened to the back? Oh, I know what I did. Well, let's try that, everybody. Yeah. But um, I'm sure glad to see everybody, Tom and Rebecca and She-Wolf. So good to see y'all. Bash Matrix is in the building. YouTube didn't send me any notifications. And I, I scheduled it today. I scheduled it like 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm telling you, man, it's some sketchy crap they do to me. I relish the conversation for you. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. I really it means a lot to me. I really do enjoy coming up here and hanging out with you guys. I mean, I do it every Friday. I don't have to do it. I enjoy to do it. Um, next week, I'll start with more topics. I think we'll go into like medical preps and then food preps. I might even do food. Oh, see, the thing of it is, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, like, I have the nutrient survival stuff that they sent me. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Because that commercial that I just ran um, is better than any... Oh, crap. I didn't hit the button. Um, is better than any commercial I could put together. So I reached out and I was like, you mind if I run that ad? They're like, yeah, no, use anything you want. Um, 
so yeah i just figure for now run that and i think that's the wrong one that i'm running i have to run the one with that has my email address on there or my uh web address on there so yeah if you guys do check them out please consider using my league link remember when you shop with nutrient survival you're getting military grade special operations grade food and you're uh you're also going to get 10 off if you use promo code infantry 10 that'll get you 10 off when you shop with nutrient survival but uh yeah man uh, it looks like papa tom's been real busy outdoors man he's been planting and now are you did you harvest uh tom the rat where was it that he said the radishes and stuff hold on uh gardening is it this one um, you're gonna try to qualify for a loan rebecca that's awesome good luck i'll pray for you where was it i know i read something i had to have read it read it i know i'm blind but i'm not stupid um i have no idea where to start after all the planning, we got nearly two inches of rain. Tom, I did read that right somewhere, right? That you did harvest some radishes and some other stuff. Um, I snagged... Snagged freebent dog crates. Took them apart and used uh, for fencing to keep out rabbits. That's a great idea. That's a great way to upcycle. Oh, you know what I did go do today? I'll blow y'all's damn mind. And I came in second place out of three people. When I played golf today. Went out and I played eight, what is it? Nine holes of 18. We played the back nine. Um, and you'd be surprised, your boy did pretty damn good. So, yeah, I went and I played golf today. Matter of fact. Do I have a picture in my phone? Where's my phone? I can show y'all a picture. I don't think I have one of me actually swinging. But I know... Stop trying to give me shit, Google. Alright, so I go that way. There's your boy in the golf cart right there. And then... This is my buddy out on the team. It was fun, man. I, I lost two into the lakes, two different lakes or ponds or whatever the hell you want to call them. And then I lost two into the woods. So not all in all, not a bad day. I lost four balls. No harvest all plant. Okay. Sorry. I didn't one didn't know if I missed that comment or read it wrong or uh we don't harvest all year. Like down in Florida. Yeah, that's one of our benefits. You know, I got pepper plants that are still growing. I ain't done shit to them. Like I haven't watered them, I haven't given them nutrients, they're still putting peppers out. It's amazing. Stuff just grows in Florida. How to garden. Welcome to the program. Oh, there it is. How to garden. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you had a good one. Tell us about your week. What did you do this week outdoors? And considering your, your channel, I'm guessing you did some gardening this week. Because it is that time of the year for everybody to start planting. So, myself included. But I don't know if I'm going to grow this year. I'm going to focus on some other stuff. But we do got a bunch of stuff coming up for you guys. Um, like I said, this Wednesday coming, you'll be able to see Youth Turkey Hunt Weekend. Like I promised, good, bad, or ugly, I was going to film it, and we we're going to present it to you. So first week is Brandon's day. Second day is going to, or next, the following week will be Logan's day. So, um, uh, Six watching... Six watching, only three likes. Half of us are slacking. 
You said it, Tom, not me. I just read the comment. But yeah, man, be sure to hit that thumbs up, folks. I really appreciate it. And I know I'm going to get that one viewer every week for the last several weeks and give me the one thumbs down. But it's okay. I still love you. Uh, I spent most of the week in the greenhouse working the tomatoes. Nice. Um, where are you in the world, How to Garden? So I live in Florida. We basically, we put it outside. It grows. Seven likes. There we go. Tell you what, Rebecca is always trying to get my channel to grow. Uh, my other device watching can't give a like. Gotcha. All right, so Vash is counting as two people. I have to remember that on my little counter down here. But yeah, if you are having a good time, I do it every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. And we usually have topics to topic, talk about. Ta, 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 ta. English is difficult. Um, but yeah, we usually have topics that we talk about. Uh, tonight is pretty much just catch up because I haven't seen y'all in like a week, two weeks. But um, it's always good to see everybody. I also danced outside in the rain. Nice. Nice. Space Coast. Oh, okay, you're you're by me. You're in Florida. I'm North Florida. I'm up by um, our south of what you call it, um, Georgia. Our south of the border. So yeah, you you literally know you you're in Florida too. You plant it, it grows. <laughs> I love playing in the rain. I can't dance, though. Man, when I was a kid, I used to love playing in the rain. We used to wait for the streets to flood up, and we go skimboarding. You take a piece of wood, just any piece of wood that your mom or dad had laying around, you know, a piece of the, out of the shit pile, and you chuck that sucker out, and you run, and you jump on it, and sh Then when we got older, and our friends got cars, we get pulled behind the cars like, like wakeboarding. We did some crazy stuff, man. And if you guys like this music that you hear, instrumental or music-wise, you can check it out on YouTube's audio library. And if anybody knows anybody that knows anybody that knows anybody that would like to uh, have your music here on a Friday night, reach out to me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Again, it's infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. It's one of the banners that pops up here on the window as we progress through the program. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Hit the thumbs up button. Lots of stuff coming up. Like I said, Turkey Weekend. Um, I have a brand new firearm coming up from Bear Creek Arsenals. You guys are going to love it. I enjoy, I think it's really cool, and I haven't even fired it yet. Um, shout out to Mayhem for helping me set it up and creating a, as he called it, a, what the hell did he call it? A haunted gun meme, I think was the term he used. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've got a new new toy from bear creek arsenals uh which by the way bear creek arsenals just released their brand new handgun their polymer handgun so if you're interested in that their link is down in the description box as well click on the link and uh go check them out it's called the grizzly uh i can't wait to get my hands on it i have no idea what caliber it's in i, I just seen the pictures and i know i can't wait to get it so um, that'll be coming down the line when the Grizzly comes and reaches my hands. I have the new Gamo 22 Magnum Gen 3 that I have a video to do for you guys. I have Nutrient Survival's video. I have to get out to you guys. I have Humanitarian Daily Rations videos. I want to get, I got to, I mean, the boxes are piled up here in the studio. Um, it's just getting them knocked down one by one by one by one by one by one by one. Know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. Uh, get to your 
timing right. Hold on a minute. Get to get your timing right. And I'm confused by that comment. Get to get your timing right. Gotta get your timing right. Our enemy. I I I'm, I can't. I'm confused. Um. I have the grace and coordination of a lame kangaroo. <laughs> Listen, I've been a DJ for a lot of years. As long as you have fun, that's all that matters. Who the hell cares what you look like if you could do the robot or the chicken hawk or the 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 hokey pokey dance or the what the hell do these kids do nowadays? <laughs> Grizzly is a nine millimeter. Dang, look at you, Vash. You know more about my products than I do. Okay, so Grizzly isn't going to be a 9mm. I didn't know. I haven't read it. I just saw the pictures. Um, but it does look really cool, man. And it just came out. So if you guys are interested in it, check it out. I do not have a promo code for them, unfortunately. But their prices are set to where you don't need a promo code, really. They have really great prices at Bear Creek Arsenals. And, of course, you're getting uh, that lifetime guarantee with your firearm. Um, great customer service, wonderful people, family owned and operated. So, you know, you know where your, your money and your business is going. So, yep, give them a check out because uh, I got some stuff coming up for you guys. Like I said, um, what they sent me is pretty neat. Garden the heat is your enemy, your enemy there. Yeah, when in the summertime, you got to like honestly have shade for your freaking plants. It's, it's, it's crazy. I think he's saying our enemy is the heat. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Vash. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sitting here staring at it like if the, I'm like, you know, deer in headlight and just not understanding what's going on. So with that in mind, we're going to take our second music break of the night. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Hope that you give the video a thumbs up. And anything you guys got you want to say, drop it in the chat or in the comments for those watching on the replay. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Be sure that you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, ring that bell. And uh, like I said, we do it every Friday night. So a little bit of Netflix music for you guys on a Friday night. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a As they were a year ago But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago
In today's world of technology, supply shortages, fuel shortages, and war, now more than ever is the time to prepare. Throughout human history, over one billion people have died from disease that would have been cured by everyday antibiotics. Over 99% of Americans do not have a supply of emergency antibiotics. Over 98% of antibiotics are produced overseas. The chance that that antibiotic supply chain could be interrupted at some point is 100%. If that were to happen, experts predict that local pharmacies would run out of antibiotics in a few weeks. The time to prepare is now. Every home needs to purchase a Jace case. If we got your attention, visit our website today at jacemedical.com forward slash infantry outdoors. Be sure to use promo code infantry10 for 10% off your order. Be prepared with Jace case. gotta turn the mic back on infantry that's right use promo code infantry 10 i try to set that up with all the businesses we work with just so y'all can remember infantry 10 tony what's up my brother good to see you hey so tony on the good news on the sport front my son's um special olympics basketball team won first place in the regionals they got gold medals uh first game was 20 to 2 second game was 20 to 4 so they now move on to states in Orlando. They're going to be playing at the ESPN Wide World of Sports building. So a little sports update for you, my brother. You know, my kids are playing basketball. Well, it's the end of basketball now. Um, summertime, we're going to move into bowling again. So I'll give you guys the bowling updates. But it's good to see you, Tony. How was your week? Did you do anything outdoors? Please drop it in the chat. I know I'm going to be a little bit behind, but I'm going to try to catch up. Uh, if anybody has any gardening tips, let, well, we're going to share gardening tips. Don't worry about that. Uh, if I lived in a tropical climate, I would grow co coffee beans. I don't know if they would grow here. I wonder. Uh, DJ, were you saying that Mayhem helped you with a program or an AR build? He helped me out with some uh, questions on building my AR, which I probably shouldn't have said that, but... Yeah, I got an AR from Bear Creek Arsenals, 556223, if you guys haven't been following along. Um, I'll show it to you here in a minute, Bash. I'll show you why he says I made a, what did he call it, a haunted gun meme? You'll, you'll see here in a minute. Let me get through the chat, and then I'll show you. Hi, Tony, She Wolf. Um, I use this song. I use this song in our lyric analytics group at psych rehab they really liked it it's a good song that's one thing i like about nefix most all his stuff is good vibes good positive you know he's got some stuff that's you know up, up which i played here before but i enjoy his music and the thing that i enjoy is that i can use his music you know it's good and i can use it um Becca, I have a friend whose mom is in Costa Rica and avoid winters. I'm trying to get to get into gardening. Hint, hint. Well, there you go. Gardening is not hard. It's hard if you make it hard. As long as you have good dirt, good soil, good sunlight, and water, um, you're good. Look, I was growing stuff for years in five-gallon buckets. They're still growing outside. I haven't done anything to them. I haven't put no fertilizer. I ain't put nothing. I just leave them the hell alone, and they grow, and they give me, they give me peppers. So, um, dudes with time. D E O Vindis. Boy, what's up, Vindis? How you doing? I hope I said that right. Uh, DJ, that's cool. All uh, tell him good, great job. I'm gonna show you here. Oh, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'll definitely tell him. Uh, infantry, that's awesome for your son and his team. Yeah, 
the, the crazy part of it is is like we know where the kids are going and what they're doing but the parents have no flipping clue of what we're doing you know um the kids have a room and the kids are staying at like the disney resort that some of us parents can't afford um like if we have to stay on our own which is pretty much what it looks like um then yeah it's, it's gonna be tough uh, i need tips for gardening for growing leeks uh trying first time this year i've never grown leeks so if anybody in the chat has ever grown a leak leak comment hey we reached 100 in the chat thank you everybody mayhem is a trip yeah no mayhem's a funny guy he's gonna be down for a while i know we're gonna start that uh mayhem hump day but he's got some things going on right now and, and we'll probably pick it up again next month uh, he wants to be able to commit to the program, and I want him to be able to commit. Because we got some really cool stuff to talk about, you know. Uh, coffee will grow in Central and South Florida. That's good to know. I could probably grow it up here where I'm at. Do you have coffee? That's awesome. I would like to try some Florida coffee. So maybe how to garden the peel boxes down there. Maybe you could send me a little bit. <laughs> I would love to try Florida coffee. Uh, no, don't show it to us on the live or they'll probably end the stream or strike you. Okay. I got you. 10-4 on that. Or separate the upper and lower. I can't do it. I'm not going to bother with all that. Basically what I wanted to show you was. Um, I put my. Scope on my. The, the one with the lighted reticle. My really good expensive. Um, the one that the commander attaches to. Okay. I put that scope on there. But in order to put the scope on there. I had to buy a riser. Which I didn't know that. So this is where mayhem comes in. Like, hey, ma'am, ma I put my scope on there, but it's literally sitting like this. You know, it should be sitting up a little bit. And he's like, yeah, we'll get a riser and I'll take care of that. So, um, our vindication. Dio Vindici, Vindici is Latin for God, our vindication. Good to know. Thank you, Truthful Tom appreciate that brother so yeah so i ended up getting a um my father lives in florida but i can't see him trying to grow anything unfortunately growing ain't hard you just throw some seeds out there and god makes the rest happen um so yeah so we ended up putting a a riser on there right so that i could put the scope on there but the company also sent me a red dot and I personally have never used a red dot, so I don't know if I can even use one with my eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? So what I ended up doing was I bought a 45 offset. And I hooked that on there and I put the red dot on the 45. So if you wanted to shoot the, the regular scope, you'd hold it like this. And if you want to get close range, you tilt it. And now you have the red dot. And I sent him the picture of it, and he's like, dude, infantry, you have, like, one of them haunted gun memes that Brandon Herrera would show. He's like, when you're done, take the red dot off. I was like, well, that's my intent. But the company sent the red dot. I got to put it, you know, I want to put it on there. I don't necessarily want to keep it on there, but it does look pretty damn neat, though. I'll tell you what. Uh, YouTube is weird. Some channels can show full-blown target practice. While others can't even mention pew pews. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I'm already shadow banned, so it doesn't matter. That's why y'all don't get notified. I keep saying it, and nobody believes me. And then look at your notice tonight. Did, did, did y'all get notified? Who got notified? Put a one in the chat if you got notified. I bet half of you didn't get notified. <laughs> I had to say a prayer for my buddy Tom to get notifications. You know? Uh, it has to do with the heritage that heritage that Tony and I share it has to do with the heritage that Tony and I share did I I think I feel like I missed something there Tom uh, Rebecca they can show pew pews in videos but not on live streams 
I've shown it on live stream before and nothing happened. It wasn't at the beginning. It was like a ways like it is now, a ways into the video. Uh, leeks are pretty easy to grow. Yeah, it is a winter vegetable in Florida, but really easy. Okay. I've never, I don't know if I've ever had leeks. Are they green like, like green onion? Uh, you can show these items on a pre-recorded video, but not live. Okay, one. So, Vash did not get it. Tony got it. Tom, uh, Rebecca got it. I got notified, but requested it earlier. Okay. Well, at least you got notified. And then How to Garden is a two. All right. So, yeah. So, I mean, listen. I'm shadow banned. I know that already. It's a real he headache. I constantly have these people always emailing me about, oh, we can make your channel bigger. We can get you more views and blah, blah. I'm like, you can't do nothing for me, man. <laughs> I'm doing the best that can be done because... Until they lift the shadow ban, there ain't no better for me. Um, DJ was naughty and didn't get caught. Yeah, I've either that or like I said, they don't care who sees my program anyway because it doesn't get sent out to anybody. You know, uh, I don't. I don't even know what a leak is or what to do with it. You plug it up. You didn't know that. Why do you want to have a leak? What I do with leaks, I stop them up. I plug them up. I patch them up. No more leak. Ha ha ha. Dad joke. <laughs> I'm speaking stupid because I don't want the channel flagging or saying uh, a bad word. Laugh out loud. I don't want them to come after me for nothing either. But then again, I, listen, folks. I'm like six or seven years into this. I, <laughs> I kind of don't care anymore. You know what I mean? It get You get to a point with this whole YouTube thing. Like, I used to wake up every day and look at my numbers. Oh, how many subscribers did I get? Oh, did, how many views did I get? I, you know, I might do it once a week now. I, I don't care. I come up here and do this because I want to. You know? I have fun. I get to talk to some people. I get to connect with people. I've made some great friendships. Um you know but it hasn't always been sugar you know sugars and rainbows because it's got its downsides too you know um but thankfully i'm smart enough to where i use protective measures and it's kind of hard to dox me um unless you get my address from somebody that knows me or something like that um you know we use a lot of virtual security here um so it's really hard to, to for me to to screw up but you know, I, I do have my downsides, too, to this business, just like everybody else. Uh, leeks are in the onion family. It's good in soups and salad. Yeah, they look kind of like a green onion, I think. Uh, they're in... They're in the alum family, so... Like onion, sort of. Okay. Yep, yeah, see, good to know. I wouldn't have known that. I think they're like green onions. If I remember what a leek look, if I remember like visually, they look kind of like a green onion. I love green onions. Mmm, one of my favorites. Hands down, one of my favorites, man. Love me some green onion. Dun, 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 dun. Cooking another song. Let's go with this one, y'all. Shazam. Do, 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 do. Yeah, green onions are awesome. I like them even though that they have a weird name. Well, the funny thing is green onions are also scallops. So, you can call them green onions, you can call them scallops. Scallops, you want some scallops? Uh, Garden, do you 
Gordon, do you have to trim them like onions? I've never understood that whole concept of uh, trimming onion greens. You trim onion greens and make them grow. It's like grass. I have a jar full of dried onion tops or whatever. I call it onion grass. Um, I will cut it and dry it and put it in a jar and you keep it in for like soups and things like that. Um, you can eat it. That's the green onion. The tops of the onions. Uh, probably why I don't have much luck in onions. I didn't have much luck growing them either. Because what they say is when it when it goes up like this and when it crinkles over, you're supposed to cut it at the crinkle. Right? So that it can grow stronger and grow up. I cut it at the crinkle and I think I killed the plant. So I, I don't know what I did. But the, the tops of the onions, you can eat them. You can dry them for soups. Um, I dry a lot of that stuff. Matter of fact, I got to go pull ginger here. Um, probably tomorrow. My uh, two pots of ginger I've been growing for like two years. I need to go pull them out. And then I'll probably break a chunk off. And rebury it and let it continue the process. Uh, I trimmed them but didn't know when. Rebecca, I don't know. I only trim when I, I only trim when I harvest just to make them look good for the market. Uh, the trimming the trimming dehydrates well. Yeah, I dehydrate them well. Like to where they like fall apart literally. Like it's almost like dust. See, dehydrated onion tops. Yep. I call them onion grass. I don't know. To me, it's just like grass. But. See, infantry knows a little thing or two. Not a whole hell of a lot smart in anything, but, you know, I know a thing or two. A little thing or two. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a good Friday night wherever you are around the world. I hope it's an amazing one. Remember, I do this every Friday at 9 p.m. If I can help it, anyway. Um, this week outdoors. Next week, we're going to start on medical preparations. So if you have something you'd like to contribute or, uh, you know, anything in particular, make sure that you're here next week, 9 p.m. for that. Um, with that said, make sure you check out our sponsors. Uh, Jace Medical is having a bunch of sales and a bunch of stuff going on this month of April. So go over to jacemedical.com forward slash infantry outdoors and check that out. Um, also, you can now get Jace Case for Kids over there as well, as well as Jace Daily, which is your day-to-day -day everyday medicines that you take and the ability to get them in a one-year supply. So go on over to jacemedical.com forward slash infantry outdoors. Remember to use promo code infantry10 and unlock additional savings. Let's play some more music on a Friday night. Keep everybody moving. Keep your feet tapping. It's me free. I'm the infantry. <laughs>
This presentation of Infantry Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bear Creek Arsenal. Nutrient Survival. Survival food reinvented for a stronger body and mind. Jace Medical. Be prepared with Jace Case. Mayhem Studios. Add a little mayhem to your media with the best in the biz. Oneleaf.ai. Affordable night vision. And by generous donations from viewers like you. Good night, Tejada Garden. Hope you have an amazing night, an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for stopping in and being part of my program. I really appreciate it. And guys, remember, every Friday night at 9 p.m., I start this program this week outdoors. Love to hear from you guys. Love to know what you did this week outdoors, last week outdoors, what everybody's been up to. And uh, we use the forum and platform in order to learn from each other. So hope you guys are learning as much as you can. Going to go gonna go see civil war tomorrow need to know how what they plan for us all yeah right look you can say joking or not but you ever notice how much stuff in the movies all of a sudden becomes reality and you're like what the hell yeah i when i was a kid i was like man the movies ain't nothing but the government's way of telling them telling us they already got the shit <laughs> that's a fun way to look at it right but um yeah And of course, if you didn't check out this week's video, go back, take a look at it. I think it's this week's video. Yeah, the $30 trail camera was the last one I put up there. Go and check that one out. Uh, let me know what you guys think on it, as always. I know you guys have great questions. And if you have good enough questions like Rebecca did, I'll turn it into a video. So you eventually down the pipeline, the next metal melting video you guys see will be um, one that Rebecca requested. So... Yep, predictive programming. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just their way of telling us what they already got. So, but um, tomorrow I'm going to the Catfish Festival. So, be on the lookout for maybe a pop up live stream. I got to see what the service is like over where I'm going. But uh, we're headed to the Catfish Festival in the morning. I love me some black and catfish. So I'm going to see if I can find me some black and catfish. But um, what else is I wanted to tell y'all? Oh, don't forget, we still have room here in the office for decorations. As you've seen, my wife found me a Knight Rider Hot Wheels. Um, now I'm a big fan of the 80s and 90s movies. That's where I grew up. That was where I spent most of my time was in the movies. Um... So, like, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Rambo, uh, what else did I used to watch? Any of them programs, man. Dukes of Hazard was one of my favorite programs growing up. Uh, the cam, the trail cam was cool prep on the cheap. Absolutely. Absolutely. For that price, you can't go wrong, man. You can put them all over the place. Use it for surveillance. Use it for... That's why I included the, uh... The clip of inside my house because we had one in the house for a little while you know you never know um what decor are you looking for outdoors meets video games meets i don't know movies like here let me bring y'all up big screen um this right here behind me i don't know if you can see it or not that's bob marley okay I spent 16 years on a Caribbean radio station. So, um, so, you know, I got things like Bob Marley. I have here, let me give you a little, 
turn that way. That's a DJ poster that I've had for years. But as you can see, the space between Bob Marley and there is empty. And then I've got all of this space here that I want to put stuff on. This is this is actually cologne. Then you got a knife that my father-in-law gave me over here. Got some video games right here. The cooking pot set up here. But you know, I got all this room. So and oh sorry. I didn't mean to pop you all like that. Up above my screen here, this whole wall is blank. So my wife was like, well, I asked the audience, see if they can come up with something. Let them be part of your office. So I was like, that's a good idea. You know? One whole wall over here is just green on um, over that way is just green screen. So I'm able to take green screen photos for products and do thumbnails and stuff like that. Um but you know outdoors if you look on my wish list i know i keep referring to that and i hate saying that but if you look on my wish list go to infantryoutdoors.com go to my amazon wish list there's some paintings i put up there that are pretty cool they're like a couple pieces make up one painting um but you know stuff like old movie posters i actually have put away i have three original scarface movie posters that I've had for years. Um, I have three different Scarface movie posters. And I have them put away. I just don't have the room in here to put it. But what room I do have left. I want to. Um, you know have you guys help decorate. Like the wife. They got me the Knight Rider. Which is right there. That's an old air pistol. That doesn't work anymore. And then the mini fridge. Was from my wife and my kids. So I don't have to get up and get, you know, leave the room to get a Mountain Dew every time I want one. I just go over, open the fridge. I got two in there left. I got to reload the fridge, but yeah, I got two in there left. Uh, speaking of old movies, I watched the original Top Gun the other day. I did too. I did too. I forgot how good that movie was. The Danger Zone song always got me. I love that song, Highway to the Danger Zone. <laughs> that was a great movie. And again, more stuff I wish we could share, but we can't because somebody wants a, wants a penny. Uh, I got the same fridge for Christmas last year. Yeah, it doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Like, it doesn't make it, in my opinion, really cold. And then, like, soda cans, they don't stay cold. Once they're out, they're, they, don't, they don't stay cold for very long. But y'all can send the drink of choice anytime you want. P.O. Box for fan mail is in the description box down below. So. Yeah, it's a pretty neat little fridge. I mean, it doesn't, it takes forever. Like, it takes all day. Like, I'll put sodas in tonight for tomorrow. When I go to bed, I'll put sodas in for tomorrow. Because if not... It, it takes a long time to cool some sodas. Uh, letting ad play for hopefully revenue for it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You know, I really do re appreciate everything, Rebecca. You're always trying to help. You're always trying to boost, you know. We'll get there together one day. We'll all be there smiling. Like, infantry finally broke through the damn shadow mold. The shadow people. The shadow bastards. The evil shadow people of YouTube. One adventurous YouTuber tried to outdo the demons of YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I, mean, I say I don't even really care anymore. I'm just here to have fun. You know? You start taking this crap seriously and, and then people get their panties in a bunch and See, I'm not about that. I'm not about that life. Life's too short. You know, we're going to be dead and buried. We're dead and gone before you know it. So, you know. Got to make the best of the time that we have together. Dun, 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 ba, dun, boom, 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 boom.
Yeah, I lost my mind. Talk to me, people. I'm losing it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just have fun. So I'm telling you, man, I, I, like the whole numbers thing in YouTube, I stopped worrying about that. And, you know, I've had plenty of people try to get a rise out of me and try to get me wrapped up in the what I call the YouTube gossip drama. I'm just not about that, man. You know. You do you, I do me, and that's that's all it is. At the end of the day, good you know, good luck to you, good luck to me, and you know. Do do. I love having this stream after a busy week. Why? Well, thank you. I appreciate. I love bringing you the stream. I love bringing you the stream every Friday. And if anybody watching in the replay. Or anybody in the chat that knows somebody that's got some music they want to contribute to the Friday program. Infantry Outdoors at Yahoo.com is where you can put that. Along with any comments, questions, concerns, advertising, anything like that. Hit us up. Because I know a lot of you guys watching the replay. And I do appreciate it. Kind of like Gandalf said, that's not for us to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that we are given to us. Exactly. Exact to Telemundo, Navaguto. You got it, Bash. Oh, wait, let me bring y'all back up in the chat. What are you doing, selfish ass infantry? Hogging all the spotlight. Don't give the damn viewers any spotlight. I'll try to avoid the gossip. I only believe what I personally see. Hey, there you go. There you go. I don't even make time for the gossip. Like, there's a lot of times where, and I'm not going to call any names. Uh, I never do anything like that. I, I, you know, I've been doing a radio and TV for so many years. Like, that, I know how to be professional in ways that, like, my tongue should have been bitten off. But that's what we do when we're professional broadcasters. Um, I've had several scenarios where fellow YouTubers have come and said, oh, you know, infantry, I'm in this whole big gossip scenario thing because I brought this person onto my live stream the other night and this and this and this happened and this and this and this was said. And I was like, well, okay, why didn't you shut them down? Well, what do you mean? I was like, well, the minute if things went south, why didn't you shut them down? It's your program. Why did you allow it to continue? And so many times, there's nobody has an answer for me. You know, I don't know why I let it go. I don't know. I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, when we're broadcasting up here like I am right now, um, <clears throat> I'm in control of my program, or at least I'm supposed to be. And if things aren't going the way I wanted my program, then I'd shut it down. You know, you don't have to sit there and take, you know, now you have to be professional about it. Um, I was always taught in radio, you even legally have to be um, basically split down the middle. You can't be pro or con either side of a conversation topic or anything like that. If politicians come in, you can't be red with a person that's blue. You can't be blue with a person that's red. You have to be neutral and you have to address it a certain way. So I've always been that way. I'm on nobody's side. I'm in the middle. So uh, when you're broadcasting, you need to keep your broadcast in mind that you're in charge of your broadcast. And, you know, if somebody disagrees with you, that's not a reason to cut them off or shut them down. But if things get out of hand where now there's this whole big ass thing going on on YouTube, you need to be able to shut your own stuff down. That You know. Take control of your program. Um, Tom same. I walk out of the room uh, if it starts. But I don't experience that often. I cut people out of my life who do that to, uh, too often. Exactly. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, oh, don't get me wrong. I love some good gossip. <laughs> I just don't repeat it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have time for it, man. I don't have time for the BS. I'm too busy trying to make videos and, and getting them out for you guys and raise my kids and 
you know make sure they got money for basketball make sure they got shoes for for this and logan i love him to death i bought the boy's shoes two days before we went to daytona he lost his damn shoes on daytona beach and i had to go buy him the same pair of shoes two days later because he lost his shoes on daytona beach so you know this is just the, the, the shit i have to deal with in life you know gotta love kids which I do. I love my boys to death. There ain't nothing on earth I wouldn't do for them boys. But uh, remember next Friday, guys, we're going to get back into the, the topics and the things like that. Because I know you guys like it. Um, I have noticed, or I should say I have not noticed, Vash, that there's any increase in this social experiment that we've been doing the last few weeks of when I schedule the live stream. Um... For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, we've been trying to get more views here on the program. And one way was, well, when are you scheduling your live stream? And I used to schedule it when I'm done with this live stream. So I'd get done with this and I'd schedule the stream for next week. Now, um, someone said to me, oh, well, don't do that because you're getting lost in the algorithm. Well, when should I schedule? Oh, well, you should schedule like hours before. So for the last several weeks, I have been scheduling hours before the broadcast. Now, many of you have said yourself tonight that you either did or did not get notified. For the ones that didn't get notified, this is exactly why I'm trying this experiment. Um, because we're not growing. We're not getting any bigger either way I do what I do. That's why I say I'm starting just really not to care. And I love having you guys here. And if that's all I have, we're going to have a good time. We're going to party together. So, I guess I should quarterly, I guess I should qualify the contradiction. I enjoy hearing the drama, but I don't believe anything that I have not seen for myself. I gotcha. Yeah, I don't mind hearing it. Y'all could call me. Look, in no way am I discouraging anybody to not reach out and go, Infantry, this is what's wrong. Uh, by all means, I've, anybody that has my number, you're more than welcome to call and say hi anytime you want. Um, but using it as an example is that folks that live stream need to handle their broadcast. You know, you're responsible for it in every way. So if it gets out of hand, you just got to put your foot down, you know. Uh, I can't wait for it to get warm. I want to hike and stuff. Nice. It's warming up here. I'm going to be getting efficient here very shortly. Um, when you said, love my kids to death, I couldn't help but picture Homer Simpson choking bar. <laughs> hey, look, I love my kids to death, but I chased my son around with the belt tonight. So, you know, I'm here to raise a man. I'm not here. Yeah, I'm your dad, not your best friend. But I love my kids to, to, to the moon and back, man. Um, uh, kind of like watching a soap opera. Yeah, see, I'm not in that soap opera shit, Tom. Not, not, I never have been. See, in all my years of DJing, in all the bars and in all the clubs, it sound like an old fucking western, in all the bars and all the clubs I've been in, there's always, there's always what I call, what we call bar flies, and there's always drama. There's always the bar soap opera that changes from one week to the next or stays the same from week to week to week. It just fucking gets thicker. I've always stayed the hell out of it. I have always been, I used to tell my wife back then, my girlfriend, my fiance, you know, Amber's been with me since a long time. Um, I used to tell her, listen, I don't want you coming to any of my, you know, the places that I DJ at. And she was like, why? Now, I always had her come. She could come. It never bothered me. But I've always had the mindset that when I'm on stage as DJ Infantry, I am working. I'm not in a personal mindset. I'm not in, you know, I'm there to do a job. I'm there to play music, make people happy, and come back next week. That's my job. And I will say and do whatever I have to say and do to make that happen. Um, 
there used to be girls in the damn clubs and bars that thought they were dating me never went on a date ever in our life we just uh, seen each other at the club every week but that same person would spend 100 150 dollars at the bar on me then another one would spend 200 dollars on the bar on me you know and 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 it makes the bar money and they come back and they spend the door charge and they're here to see the band and they're here to see the dj and that's what makes the money happen so amber knew all of this and after a while again she stayed home because she just got tired of watching me in with you know in work mode um but i always kept that's why i don't even up here i don't even use my real name up here never having social media never having radio never have any time i've been on stage in public very few people know my real name um and that's for good reason it's for safety reasons you know i didn't need no barfly following me home or tracking me down or getting my phone number and showing up at my house and causing all kinds of chaos no nah, man leave that shit at the bar but i've never been about that 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 gossip life uh infantry give it more time you're showing up in my feed since you've been doing closer to the date i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep doing it but it hasn't shown that it really has done anything because the same folks that are always here is always here you know what i mean um uh, i have to cut out early hope you all have a great weekend and thanks for being awesome y'all what well, thank you rebecca you have an amazing weekend Yeah, you know, Tom, because the gossip will get you in trouble. Gossip will get you killed. Down in South Florida, where I'm from, somebody says the wrong shit, you get you killed. You know. Much love, Rebecca. Have a good night. But that's that's why I've never done anything in public. And I use that 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 word very specifically, in public. Anything public domain, anything public anywhere has never been under any real information um it's all under dj infantry and i've done some crazy shit you know but it's all under dj infantry well with that boys i'm gonna wrap it up because i know two of the viewers is vash and one is tom as much as i love you fellas i ain't got anything more to say tonight but uh keep an eye out um that's why you listen and never repeat exactly i've always been a great listener too that's my other benefit but um yeah so keep an eye out tomorrow if i have internet service where i'm gonna be guys i will do a live broadcast it starts at nine in the morning uh we're probably gonna get out there kind of early because the wife has to go to work Terry, what's going on, fam? We're just getting ready to wrap up, actually. Um, have a great night, my young friend. Nice to see you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you. All right, bud. Have a good night, good weekend, good night. And Christ. Uh, and Christ bless y'all. God bless you too, my friend. Vash, you have a fantastic night. Terry, you have an amazing one. Tom, have a great one. Um, but yeah, keep a lookout for the broadcast tomorrow. If I have service, I will more than likely pop up and do that. And if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, write to me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Go to infantryoutdoors.com and you'll find all of our social links, our merch page, our sponsors, which are also listed in the description box down below. And um, all of our stuff can be found in one location. Our social links, our pages, all that is at infantryoutdoors.com. With that said, I hope everybody had a good time with me. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. She-Wolf, you have an amazing night. Okay, hope everyone has a good week. Take care, everyone. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much again. I love the hell out of you. I appreciate you so much. And um, I'll be back with you Friday. If not, check. like I said, keep your eye out tomorrow morning. It'll be live from the Catfish Festival. I'm not talking about, like, ugly people pretending to be pretty. I hope 
I hope it's some good old-fashioned catfish. So with that said, I hope that this and all my adventures inspires you to get outdoors. And until we meet again, I'm the Infantry saying have a blessed and amazing day, everybody. This presentation of Infantry Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bear Creek Arsenal. Nutrient Survival. Survival food reinvented for a stronger body and mind. Jace Medical. Be prepared with Jace Case. Mayhem Studios. Add a little mayhem to your media with the best in the biz. Oneleaf.ai. Affordable night vision. And by generous donations from viewers like you. 